So very good evening to all of you. Welcome to performance optimization simulation session. Myself, Sujit Kakar. And today is Sunday, 26th of November, 2017. Uh, let's quickly look at the trades which got triggered. So if you look at Divis Lab, uh, this was again a weekly income trade in which our lower time frame would have been the uh, hourly chart. So I'm already on the hourly chart. And here you can see that prices, they moved down, right? So here we were basing for some time, then moved down. And then we had that period of pause after which we had a really nice, strong arrival into the zone, right? Which means that the chart was definitely showing us more than two is to one. In fact, I can call this as drop base rally, and we can take this target using the wick to wick method, which was showing us a little more than three is to one. So the arrival is really, really amazing, right? Those are the kind of arrivals we always want that the prices should just, you know, uh, uh, rally into our supply areas or just sh should just uh, crash into our demand areas because that is where that emotion of greed and fear starts coming into the market. So all these people who would be buying after such a big rally in price would be the greedy novices now buying in the supply area. So the RR was really, really nice. So if you would have taken the trade, you can see the very first candle gave you the opportunity to make it as a break even trade. And at the end of the day, uh, we closed a little over one is to one. If you would have closed it at the end of the day, because it was a short trade and we know that in stocks, shorts cannot be kept overnight. So if you were doing it in stocks, uh, yes, you would have made a little over one is to one on this. <clears throat> but if you're doing it in futures, uh, this could uh, still be a trade which you are in with a, a stop loss, which is at a break even stop loss, right? So depending upon whether you did this trade in futures or you did it in cash, in cash, you would have got a little over one is to one. And in futures, uh, you would be holding the position uh, with your stop loss at break even as if. Uh, this one definitely break even as if now, if it goes up, uh, you will be out of the trade as a break even trade. If it continues, uh, we are looking at a target which is a little over uh, three is to one, right? So that is what your target one can be.